Here's the thing. You'd never hear about, like, in the news, like, a dad waking up and the house is on fire and so he saves all of his kids. You never hear about that. It's always a kid or a dog or a pig. Right. Yeah. It's always mm-hmm. one of those three things. I don't know why that is. Maybe kids have natural <laughs> fire senses. Maybe it's that yeah. they're beautiful, sweet little lungs, don't need as much air on their heads so low. And maybe they Is get... it possible the dads are just really forgetful? The dads yeah. the dads just lay there and like die. <laughs> well, this is it. the end. Well, this is it. Guess the time for uh, I knew I should have gotten a dog. That's what he said to his on fire. The dads are just happy for a way out. Yeah. <laughs> All my life. I thought my stupid ass son would come rescue me. The kids, the kids, they're so low. And they get, in the heat of the moment, pun intended, they get so diesel. And they just pull their dad (laughs) all the way downstairs. They get fully gamma rayed. They just go for it. They they freak out and they get super D's and they just pull him downstairs. And then they, they save the whole day. Yeah. You know, wouldn't you hate them to be that kid that, like, doesn't? And, like, dad comes outside, and he's, like, coughing and, like, you know, covered in soot and stuff. He's like, where the fuck were you? Daniel! <laughs> the whole, the whole I waited in Daniel. my bedroom for an hour and a half. I want to hit you guys with this. People say, oh, children firefighters, that's so dangerous. Yeah. Let me ask you this. When was the last time you heard of a child firefighter dying? Never? <laughs> hmm. Maybe they're better uh, at it than you think. When have you ever Sorry. heard of a, a child brain surgeon killing a person by cutting their brain wrong. Never. Yeah. They, always, they are batting a thousand vis-a-vis brain surgery. Yeah. I think I think kids are m- maybe way better at it than you give them credit for. Mm-hmm. It's you, know, you just point a kid at a burning bu- building and tell them, hey, Gala Gala Allen's in there. Go get him out. <laughs> Go get Gala Gala. <laughs> stay, stay low. Stay, stay low. low but what would Binya gonna... Binya do? He'd crouch. <laughs> what would Binya, shh, like me. <laughs> You know, I went to a child therapist once, um, and I was really depressed. And now I eat like two packages of cookies a day, yeah. and I feel great. Mm-hmm. I'm so bad. happy all the time. Kids have it figured out, man. They know not to be firefighters because it's dangerous, mm-hmm. <laughs> so they don't do it. Maybe I- kids are smarter than we give them credit for. If you think about all the stupid shit that we have to do day to day, and I don't, I don't just mean lying to your mechanic that you know how to do things. I mean like. Everything, you know, Mm -hmm. burying loved ones, uh, paying your mortgage, go like kids don't do any of it. And we think that we have to teach them so they can be ready to man. I think they got it all figured out. They already cracked the case. Mm -hmm. It's like the Benjamin button of having shit figured out. Like they are living it a hundred percent from the start. And then we just whittle that away. Like the 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 le- the the wisdom that they have. So yours trying to set up like a Logan's Run scenario. Yes. Okay. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying. Where we we don't have maybe we don't have need a bunch of grown up firefighters. Mm-hmm. If none of us know how to build houses or make fire <laughs> because we're all kids, then 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 we won't need you, it. You know what else you don't hear about? Kid arsonists. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Kids are the ones setting the fires. Put out your own goddamn fires, you know, adults. Guys, uh, a baby president didn't get us into the Vietnam War. That's right. So there's that. Baby president's never gotten us. How many wars has baby president gotten us in? A baby, Zero. a baby president. All the baby presidents all together, their careers combined, keep, they kept a balanced budget for our country. You know, it's funny. No baby president got us into Vietnam, but one lone baby soldier got us out. <laughs> Oh, God, I can't wait to see Baby Brigade this summer. Yeah, yeah. me too. Band of babies. They're, they're, I, they're making a dirty dozen with babies, but there's only eight of them because babies are stupid. <laughs> you don't know how many there are, baby. Okay, I've got to show you. I'm going to pitch it to you guys. All right. Yeah, Band of little brothers. Okay. <laughs> just, just, um, just a bunch of little brothers. What about yeah. a shot-for-shot remake of the entire series of Lost but everyone's babies, and it's called Baby Island. <laughs> <laughs> Confusing Baby Island. I'd watch that. Yeah, I would watch that too. The smoke babies monster- are eating the each other. The smoke monsters made of diapers. <laughs> <laughs> and it's also called Gullah Gullah Island. It's called Gullah Gullah Island, the babies edition. Except Locke is still an adult, still mm-hmm. played by the same guy. Everyone else is babies. Mm-hmm.
Oh, uh, he looks like a baby. He looks like a baby. I know. And he's in a diaper, so he's very confused if the whole time. You guys remember, um, Honey, I Blew Up the Kids? John uh-huh. Locke looks like halfway between baby and blown up, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. I guess I can see that. Like a tall. You put him in overalls and a curly wig. Imagine a tall bipedal baby. That is what we're talking about. It's cool, though, because he's got a giant M&M in his short pocket. Is it weird that when I talk about babies, I have to talk in this voice so I don't wake up the imaginary baby in my room? I don't think that's weird. Okay. Um, I don't do it. I don't do it. I don't. It's not a conscious decision. Uh, is there an age cutoff for imaginary baby that you talk to in your room? I just, I just want to be soft. You is know? it is imaginary baby there right now, Griffin? Babies aren't tough, you know, guys. <laughs> so don't get rough. Let's not get do rough you, with these babies. Do you ever sit in a? Do you have a rocker in your office in which you snuggle and rock your imaginary baby? It's not a real. It's not a real imaginary baby. I'm just saying, <laughs> I talk no, like I, there is one. I know. I know it's not a real imaginary if you baby, don't, sweetie. If you would, if you guys wouldn't mind, just like keep it down, keep your voices okay. down a little bit. Um, what's its so, name? It's adorable. His name is Dor Dor Dorp. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Did you name your imaginary baby Dorp? <laughs> he sounded like the head of the House of Lannister. <laughs> Oh God! Uh, I like the one where your imaginary baby taught me how to play golf. <laughs> <laughs> and Tim Conway has dwarf. <laughs> he's short because oh. he's a baby. <laughs> it's an imaginary baby that lives in Griffin's heart. <laughs> dwarf. You know oh. when I when I go whenever I go hiking, I was bring a big bag of dwarf. <laughs> Oh, delicious. Uh.